Hello everyone, I'm Justin Mack and this is a drop special report. Well, it's official. After generations of being a big old buzzkill, Indiana has finally changed its ways and lifted its prohibition era ban on Sunday carryout alcohol sales at grocery, liquor, drug and convenience stores. It's something that many Hoosiers never saw coming, but this whirlwind legislative session not only made it possible, it was fast tracked. After a law allowing the sale of alcohol on Sunday between the hours of noon and 8 p.m. breezed through both the House and the Senate, an amended version of the law that changed the effective date of the legislation from July 1st to immediately upon approval was also passed. That means that the moment that Governor Eric Holcomb signed it, it became a law and history was made. Now, while Sunday sales is big news here in Indiana, what we didn't expect was the impact it would have on climate change outside of the Hoosier State. We go now to Buck Jones for the weather. Buck? Thanks, Justin. I'm reporting live from Helen. As you can see, it's completely frozen over and the locals have no idea how to deal with it. Now, it has gotten cold here before. There was fear of a local freeze over back during the 2008 election and again during the 2016 election. And it got really, really cold when the Cubs won that World Series. But Sunday sales in Indiana, that was the tipping point. It's really cold out here. These demons are really unhappy. Now, the one big omission in this new law is cold beer, as packaged liquor stores are still the only places where you're going to be able to buy that. But beer temperature is actually a big reason that this new law came to pass. In November, the state's Liquor Store Association announced an unlikely team-up with big box retailers after the two sides spent years at odds. Together, they would decide to support Sunday sales while opposing expanded cold beer sales. For a quick look at how that deal probably went down, here's a quick reenactment. Here's that money you wanted. Oh, thank you. While lawmakers did get this done, the real beneficiary of this news is the people. People who have long looked at this ban and said, well, that's stupid. For man on the street reaction, we go live to Carl Dandleton, who's standing outside of a liquor store. Carl? Thanks, Justin. This is award-winning investigative reporter Carl Dandleton on the mean streets, giving you the real talk from real Hoosiers. Oh wait, here comes a thirsty shopper now. Excuse me, sir, what do you think of this Sunday sales madness? What day is it? I mean, it's not Sunday yet, but... I'll be back. Oh, sorry folks. Sorry to interrupt, we actually are taking you now live to the White House for some breaking news. Our White House correspondent said that the administration is holding an emergency press conference to respond to this massive Sunday sales news. That's fake news. Huge. MAGA, drain the swamp, bigly. I got the best things, the best things, the nicest things. They said nice things about me. I said nice things about them. It's wonderful. It's fine. Good people on both sides. Build the wall. MAGA, fake news. Well, there you have it, folks. Too good to be true. That's it for this Drop Special Report. I'm Justin Mack.